Hello, my name is Forrest Pelsu. I am an intern at the Musée d'Art Moderne de Paris with the curator Anne Dressen, working on the exhibition Les Flammes, L'Age de la Ceramique. I started in October of 2020, um, working from home in Brooklyn, where I live. And then this fall, I was able to come for the installation and opening of the exhibition. So I'm Andre Sen, the curator of the Flames exhibition at the Musée d'Art Moderne de Paris. So the Flames, uh, the Age of Ceramics, is the third um, chapter of a trilogy of exhibitions that I've been doing since uh, 2013 at the Musée d'Art Moderne de Paris. The exhibitions pay homage to the way artists look at objects without asking themselves or making any distinctions between what is art and what is not. And uh, I think it's a really interesting uh, way to look at uh, objects in a very different way. And that we as a museum professionals, we have a lot to learn from the artists. For my internship, I initially focused primarily on research. Um, researching artists and objects that are included in the exhibition, which features over 350 different artworks. So there was plenty to be done. Um, in particular, I focused on three ceramic projects, um, three feminist ceramic projects. Uh, one that happened in England, one that happened in France, and one that happened in the United States. And just to see also, you know, everything that goes into a show, it's not just the fun and interesting parts of doing the research, but it's also, you know, uh, managing the time schedule, managing the installations, um, trying to think about how visitors will experience the show, and so as it's being installed, kind of thinking about the best way to even install a piece, whether the plate should be flat or it should be lifted, so it's, you know, all these little details also um, that I got to kind of follow with her. Uh, through the installation process. So I've been really lucky to have Forrest uh, working with us in New York and uh, we were in contact on a regular basis and uh, so she early on was uh, already proofreading uh, a lot of the text and uh, um, she was also doing some research. So yes, we are in front of the visitor's uh, display case and it's a première at the Musée to let uh, this space available for the visitors to lend temporarily uh, one piece uh, that they own or that they made. Uh, so it's a participatory um, project. For me, it was a way to yeah, pay tribute to the amateur uh, practice uh, that is so uh, important in terms of uh, ceramic uh, making and uh, to also uh, allow a bit of a surprise because uh, we have uh, no idea of uh, what the visitors can uh, actually uh, propose. Which object from this display is your favorite? <laughs> but I have to say that the, the earrings that uh, Forrest uh, was uh, kind enough to lend are uh, among my favorites. Uh, there is also uh, my son um, sculpture piece that I really uh, yeah that I'm totally attached to. I mean, for me, it's it's the kind of really practical uh, anonymous objects. So there's like a ceramic pitcher for Picard, which is a pastis brand, um, which looks like it's maybe from the 1960s. And so for me, it's kind of those anonymous objects that I'm always really intrigued by. Those kind of everyday everyday stories. I'd like to give a really big thank you to everyone who has supported the French Heritage Society and who supports their work um, with students. The education program has been so meaningful to me, especially in the middle of the pandemic. 
Um, I never had to question if I would still be able to do this project, which has been amazing, even after things, you know, the timelines got moved, and at first I wasn't able to go in person, I could only work from a distance. Um, even then, it was great to have this experience working with Anne and the Musée d'Art Moderne. Um, it really brought a lot of light to my, to my winter, to my last winter, and to think that a year ago I was, you know, in my room doing research, and now I'm here in Paris. It's it feels um, amazing and I'm so grateful for the opportunity.